Hello and welcome to One Minute Architecture. It's currently March 2020 and given the pandemic of the coronavirus I thought it would be rather irresponsible to make uh, videos about um, architecture, about visiting architecture. So I thought um, I'm making a few videos about uh, books that have had an influence on me on how I see Japanese architecture. So. Here we have In the Praise of Shadows by Yunichiro Tanizaki. I see the book as a companion to uh, another favorite book of mine, um, Light in Japanese Architecture by a photographer called Henry Plummer. I think In the Praise of Shadows was rather I instrumental in Plummer's uh, photography. The shadows that Tanizaki talks about are very architectural. The very first thing that I want to look at are the heavy thatched roof of the traditional Japanese house. The roof is designed to keep out the heavy snow and rain. Its rafters and deep interiors dominates the space. A cavernous space into which the sunlight could never penetrate. A darkness that to Tanizaki felt like it had fallen from the ceiling. Within these crepuscular interior spaces lived the Japanese woman of the middle and upper class. These women became, according to Tanizaki, part of the darkness. They were absorbed within the darkness of these interiors, so that nothing but the pale white face could be seen floating within these dark spaces. He wonders whether this practice was not meant to push everything but the face into the dark. Tanizaki's inkbrush moves on and he observes how everything vanishes into the darkness of these interiors. The embracing of darkness, in my opinion, is not unique to Japan. We can see it in the paintings of Rembrandt, Caravaggio, or in the movies of uh, Ingmar Bergman. Gilles Deleuze's book on Francis Bacon's paintings sees in the study after Valeska's portrait of Pope Innocent X the opening of the Pope's mouth like a shadow into the abyss. But I also read the book as a reaction against the process of modernization, of seeing modernization as the process of westernization, and the duality of the modern as standing against a archaic and stable past. Tanizaki starts his book with accepting that this contrast is a futile illusion. So in conclusion, the book is an interesting way of recognizing how in traditional Japanese architecture, darkness and shadows were embraced, which resulted in elements that are now seen as typical Japanese.